The notification screen has moved to the data entry screen as business event. For example, open a sales order screen. On the top right hand corner, you can see a new option there is business events. When we click on this option, if there are other business events that are running for this particular screen, we will show them listed there, or we can create a new business event by clicking on create business event screen. This will ask for a business event name. So what I want to do here is I want to create a simple business event or a simple notification that once a sales order has been received, the customer is notified. So what I'll do is I'll call this a sales order received business event. And I will say that any record that has been inserted into the system and I, for the subscriber, I'll say I'll notify by email and give a small email template over there. The next thing is I'm going to raise a sales order and test this. So I can see from my email, out, all outgoing emails, I, I've got a confirmation that there is an email that has been sent. So this business event works. Changes and enhancement in generic inquiry. Some enhancements added to generic inquiry is join suggestion, new field for description, and preview. We are going to have a look at this in the mentioned order by creating a new generic inquiry for unpaid IR customer transactions. When we are talking about customer transactions, we know that we would need the customer table. So I'll take the customer table as we usually do. And then I'm going to click on the new field add related table. Once this field is clicked, we will see that there are there is a list of all related tables that is available. We will select a related table, say IR invoice, and we're going to click on select related table. Now this prefills the child account and the alias for the child account and also what is the relationship between the customer and the AR invoice. So this is a suggested relationship. We can add this by clicking on add. Once this has been done, we can see that there is a description for AR invoice. If we hover our mouse over it, it will tell us what this stands for. Next, if we go to the relationship table, we will be able to see that the relationships has been pre-filled for us, where the customer and AR invoice has got a single relationship, the AR invoice and AR tran has got multiple relationships. We are going to add some fields to it. After adding the field, we are going to preview this. So you can see on the right hand side of the screen, there is an eye icon. If we click on this, we will be able to preview the information and also see the generic inquiry at the same time. The advantage of this is we can keep on adding the fields and just clicking on the eye to refresh the information as per the generic inquiry. The next thing we are going to look at is restricting customer visibility to a company or branch using generic inquiries. For this, the first thing to make sure is if we are wanting to use this option, that from the enable disable feature, we have enabled customer visibility restriction. After this has been ticked, what we need to do is we need to create user roles 
with restrictions. So we are cre creating our user role for regional and we are creating another user role as head office. So what we are trying to do is we are trying to separate the head office company and the regional company so that the regional people are not able to view the head office. Then we go into our companies and we can assign the access role. Please note here that this option can be applied per branch also. Now, after we have applied the regional office and the head office, um, what we need to do then to go into our customers and divide our customers accordingly. So on the customers, on the financial tab, you can see that there is an option visibility, restrict visibility to customer. And over there, we can drop down and select our correct companies where the visibility is. Okay. Once this has been done, we need to add feature set to our generic inquiry. The feature set has got a relationship with customer and the relationship is a cross relationship. After this, we have to add conditions where the feature visibility is equal to zero and the customer org B account is equal to at me. After doing this, we also need to make sure that the user has been assigned the correct role in the user maintenance screen. Once that has been done, you can log in as a user. So in our case, I'm logging in as Michael Andrews and I can see that Michael Andrews has got only access to Melbourne and Sydney. And I can see that he has got only access to 27 customer records rather than 100. The next thing we are going to look at is the improvement to the import scenario for gender, uh, for import scenarios. Um, we have got a better representation of error. What we have got here is that when an import scenario is processed and there is an empty compulsory field, the system manages to capture this error on the field itself. For example, if you look at this one here, I have removed the customer class and it is giving a cross over there. So if I hover over with my mouse on that, I will be able to see the exact error. The next improvement in generic and in, in, uh, sorry, the import scenario is the date format. Any date format can be used on the import of the import scenarios. During the process of date analysis, according to the information that is provided in the system locale, the system automatically calculates the correct date. The substitution list has also been extended to the generic, uh, to the import scenarios now. Other improvements to generic inquiry. We can now change the screen ID of a generic inquiry. Usually when we get a generic inquiry and we are trying to import it, and if the generic inquiry screen ID is repetitive, um, the system gives an error and we are unable to import that particular generic inquiry. Now what we can do is we can click on change screen ID and change the screen ID of the generic inquiry. The next change is in the user interface. So on the user interface, what we can see is beside the search bar, there is a new icon there. If we click on this icon, this opens the most recently used and accessed screen. Right to the left of the screen, we have got record types and under the record types, you can see that 
there's all records, then I have access, some branch information, some customized information, some generic inquiry and so forth. So if I click on each one of that, I will be able to view exactly what I have viewed for those particular records.